on this side of this gun, she acts just she like has a like no talent. I don't talent. think black people she like her. Like yeah, she pretty, but her forehead big as fuck. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a fuck. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Solitonia, and you already know what the fuck going on, Keisha. So, as you can see, today's video was all about titties, big titties. That is, big titty bitches across the globe got titty problems. This video is dedicated to all the big titty bitches around the world. We all done went through the same shit at some point in our lives. So, ladies and the niggas who watch my videos, just cause you fuck with me. Holy moly. I'm gonna be a gentleman and I'm not gonna look at her titty. Bitch, I know you fucking lie. I know you fucking lie. This is why having big boob sucks part Three. Three. Now this first one is a nigga gimmick that's been going on in the big titty community since the big titty community began. Number one, boob sweat. Let me tell you something. Boob sweat is some shit. Okay. Not only is it just uncomfortable as fuck, but you know, it can happen in many different places on your titties. Let's say in between the crevices, right here. You feel me? Um, under your titties. You feel me? Even you could have some side boob sweat. You never know. It depends on how big your titties actually are. Now, I have big boobs, but they not like, damn. You know, they used to be like, damn. That's because back then, I used to be heavier than I am now. But I lost a lot of weight, so my titties is like, they big, but they not big. You feel me? Like, they big, but they not, like, huge. You oh, fuck! Breaking news, Bill Cosby found guilty of sexual assault. I'm appalled. But depending on the size of your titties can depend on the sweat ratio that you might have. Me, for instance, whenever I go outside, uh, for example, today, it's a really nice day outside. I'm not sure exactly how hot it is, but the sun is out. It looks really good. Today is a day where my titties will be sweating like a bitch. Let me tell you something. Titty sweat is one of the most uncomfortable things ever. It feel like somebody is tickling in between the crevices of your titties. And it's not, it's not a good feeling. You would think that that's a good feeling, but let me tell you something. When you out in public, in public, and then a trickle of sweat just starts to, you know, go down the crevices of your titties, <laughs> the shit tickle. When you in public, you don't want to just be digging all up in your titties and shit. So you got to wait till you go to the bathroom or till, you know, a nigga look away and then you can get to, you know, scratching your titties and shit. But if you just do that, you know, in public, not with no warning, niggas gonna think you dirty. You feel me? Boob sweat is worse than armpit sweat because let me tell you something. What if you raised your arms up and you had, instead of having, you know, um, a wet spot right here, you had two big ass wet spots right here. Which one would you prefer? Bitch, I would prefer the armpits because everybody sweat right there, but you see a bitch in the, uh, underneath her titties and sweat? You might look at her kind of funny. So, comment down below. Let me know which one you would rather. Would you rather have armpit sweat, uh, stain marks, or titty sweat, stain marks? Comment down below. And if you a nigga and you ain't got no titties, if you did have titties, just imagine you did. Comment down below, let me know what you think. <laughs> the weight of your titties. Now this one is again, depending on the size of your boobs. The weight of your titties can be a lot on you. That shit be hurting. And I think that's one of the main reasons why big titty bitches gotta wear bras. Because anytime like I go all day without wearing a bra, the top of my titties be hurting. <laughs> Because it's a lot of weight, you feel me? And it's just like gravity just pulling down on your ass. And it's just like, damn, I need to put a bra on. So I feel like that's why 
all big titty bitches be wearing bras at all times unless you just got you know i don't know how it is to have like fake boobs i don't know if they feel heavier i'm sure they do or whatever but i be seeing bitches with fake boobs not wearing bras all the time you feel me so that shit must be comfortable but i'm the type of bitch if i'ma wear a shirt with no bra that shirt need to be a extra 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 small <laughs> So it's basically like wearing a bra, but it's not. The fear of your titties getting saggy. That is a fear that every big titty bitch have. You cannot tell me that if you have, I would say, I really don't know. I would say like a C. A C would be, you know, to where you get to the point where you got something to grab on. At least like, you know, a handful type shit. You feel me? So if you are a C cup, and up every big titty bitch has the fear of your titties getting saggy that's like a nightmare for girls with big natural boobs if you got a boob job that's that's different you ain't got shit to worry about but bitches like me with natural big ass titties that's scary as hell to think one day you might wake up and you got goddamn deflated air balloons on your chest like that would fucking suck. So one thing my mama always told me growing up is, bitch, wear a bra. That's all she would have to tell me. And let me tell you something, that shit is true. If you are a young female and you have big boobs, this is a Tonia tip for your ass. Wear a bra at all times. At nighttime, when you go to sleep, wear a bra. When you wake up, wear a bra. When you eating lunch, wear a bra. When you curving niggas, wear a bra. At all times, wear a bra. That's why at this point in my life right now, I ain't gotta worry about, you know, my titties sagging and shit. Not like I should because it's like, I'm only 22, so they really shouldn't be, you know, saggy, but I know a lot of bitches my age who got some saggy ass titties. And you know why? It's because their mama didn't teach them to wear a bra at night. A lot of my friends that I grew up with, their moms always told them that wearing a bra at night was constricting and it was like unhealthy or some shit. Well, let me tell you something. Them is the same bitches who got deflated ass titties right now. And I'm over here with some nice ass, you know, sitting pretty ass titties. I ain't trying to brag, but I'm just, I'm just saying. If it wasn't for my mom, I would have some saggy ass titties. So I owe my titties all to my mom. So let's just take a minute, okay? Let's just... <laughs> Thank you, mama. You... you have no idea what you did for me and my titties, man. But with that being said, everybody who has big natural titties is gonna have some type of sad. My boobs ain't perfect, you feel me? Uh, If I'm being honest with you, at one point in my life, I might get a, a, a breast lift, especially if I have babies. You know what happened when big titty bitches have babies? They boobs disappear, and I ain't trying to have that shit. Saggy titties is not the move. Let me tell you something. Speaking of saggy titties, every girl with big ass titties has slept next to one of their boobs at some point in their life. <laughs> Man, look, that, that's just how life go when you got some big ass titties. One day you might wake up and your right titty might be right there next to you. And you like, bitch, if you don't get your ass the fuck back in place, like, it's really disrespectful. And let me tell you something, the first time that shit happened to me, I was like, I felt betrayed by my goddamn body. I was like, bitch, I don't deserve this shit. Everything that I have done for y'all, all the bras, that I have stuffed you in to keep you pretty, and this is how you do me? It's fucked up, but it's true. The bitches with the big ass, fake ass titties that look like they about to pop, ain't gotta worry about waking up with they boo sleeping right next to them. Do you know how motherfucking traumatizing that shit is? Bitch, I thought my titty fell off. But no, that bitch just wanted to chill on the bed and not my chest. The disrespect. So to all my big titty bitches, if you ever happen to wake up and your left titty is literally to the left of you, just waiting on you to wake your ass up, don't be afraid. Just It's going to happen to you a few times in your life. That's all I'm going to say. 
it's just something that us big titty bitches is gonna have to get used to, okay? My boobs is like my best friend. Bitch, if you wanna hang out to the side, hang out to the side. I don't care. It is what it is. Just be careful when your ass is getting up because you might accidentally elbow the fuck out of your titty. And that shit gon' hurt like a bitch, let me tell you something. Another thing that sucks about having big ass titties is that's how people define you in high school. Um, for me, that's how people defined me in middle school because I always had big titties. I was the bitch with the big ass titties. I was in elementary school with titties. I told y'all that before. If you haven't seen my first Why Big Boob Sucks, Go watch that shit, then watch the second one, then come back and watch this one, and then maybe you'll understand what I'm trying to say. It was never the little light-skinned black girl. It was always the little light-skinned black girl with the big-ass titties. That's that's how people define me in high school, middle school, elementary school, all of that shit. If I went to preschool, that's probably what they would have said, too. I always had some big-ass titties, okay? And in middle school, they got really big. Because like I mentioned before, your girl was eating. Okay, um, uh, I feel like everybody has their ugly stages in their life, and middle school was my ugly ass stage for me. Not only was I eating like a bitch, okay, I was eating like a bitch, so I had put on more weight. And when you put on more weight and you got big boobs, your boobs are gonna get a lot bigger. So my boobs were like huge. Like, if I if I can find a picture, I'll try to insert it. But my boobs were like really noticeably big like I feel like my boobs are big now but they're not to the point where niggas is gonna be like damn unless you know right now cuz I got my titties out but that's just for video purposes you feel me a bitch trying to get some views okay sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do you feel me so for most girls they start growing into their titties by high school I started growing titties in middle school and that's how I was defined was by my titties so when I got to middle school I was no longer Antonia I was the girl with the big ass titties. Let me tell you something. My nickname in middle school was Double D. Disrespectful as fuck, is it not? I lie to you not. I'm dead ass. My nickname in middle school was Double D. And the bitch, I mean, the nigga, he was white too. The nigga who gave me that nickname looked like Peter Griffin in the face. And the body too. His name was Trey. So Trey, if your big ass is watching this video, what's good, my nigga? And I tried to act like that shit didn't bother me, but it did. Because it's like, I was very insecure about my titties. I was the only bitch in middle school who had some big ass titties. You know, so to be defined and to be called double D, it's just like, is this all I'm good for? Is my titty? Like, I got a good personality too, you feel me? But niggas didn't care about that shit and they still got damn dumb, but it's okay. So if you are a part of the big titty community, prepare yourself in elementary school, middle school, high school, and college that you might have a nickname pertaining to your titties, okay? That's just how life works when you got horny ass niggas looking at your body parts and shit. It literally be the most uncomfortable shit too, like, because it wouldn't just be, you know, students noticing how big my titties was. It would be teachers noticing how big my titties was. And there was this one teacher in my middle school. His name was Mr. Nash. I hope he don't watch my videos because if he do, he gonna know that everybody in our middle school thought that that nigga was a pervert. But anyways, that's besides the point. He was a pervert. This nigga will look at my titties all the goddamn time. Just nasty, just, bitch, I can see you looking at my titties. Look up here, not down here. This is where I'm at. It's just disrespectful as fuck, okay? So not only would I get attention from little niggas, I would get attention from big niggas too. And by big niggas, I mean goddamn teachers and shit. Having big ass titties sucks because anytime you do any vigorous activity that involves your body moving up and down, that shit hurt like a bitch. Doing stairs hurt like a bitch. Jumping jacks hurt like a bitch. Jumping in general hurt like a bitch, bitch. Sometimes even sitting down on the goddamn couch hurt like a bitch. You know when you just plop down on the couch and then your titties say, kapoop, and it just hurt. <laughs> it hurts so bad. So us big titty bitches gotta watch our movements and shit because if we move 
too quick, up or down, one of our titties might fall off. We don't want that. Now me, I don't do no vigorous activity <laughs> because a bitch is lazy. But I know how I be. I know how it be. Bitches gotta go down the stairs hugging they titties and shit because if you don't, that shit gonna hurt like a bitch. Feel like your titty about to rip the fuck off. Y'all niggas ever had a pair of titties try to slap you in the face before? Me neither, but I let you know when that shit happened. When your friends be touching on your titties like they not your titties, they be, them bitches be acting like they they titties and I'm like, bitch, didn't nobody ever teach you about personal space? Especially if they got some little ass titties. Bitches with little titties love other bitches with big titties because they can see what big titties actually feel like because the itty bitty titty community, they don't know what the fuck it feel like to have some big ass titties. So when they see a bitch with big titties, they're like, ooh, let me touch them. It's kind of like, you know, little titty bitches kind of act like niggas when it come to big titties. That's, that's just how it is. Like my best friend, she always touching on my titties and I'm just like, bitch, like, they mine. You feel me like? I'm sorry, you can't have them. I, I enjoy my boobs a lot, thank you very much. But you know, my female friends, I'm used to them touching on my titties. Man, look, I got some nice ass titties. If I was you, I would wanna touch on them too. So, I ain't tripping. When you buy a cute ass shirt, but don't feel like trying it on in the store, so you wait till you get home, you try it on when you get home, and it look all funny in the armpit area because it don't fit your titties right. You buy a shirt, that shit don't fit right, and it look like your shirt need some goddamn skin surgery or some shit. You know when fat people lose all that weight and then they got some extra skin hanging off? That's what the fuck them shirts be looking like and it piss me off. You know how many shirts I got in my drawer that are so cute but they don't fit my titties right? And I never took them back because I be trying to find the right bra. Cause I'm like maybe if I get a different bra it'll fit different. Hell no. Certain shirts big titty bitches just can't wear. That's that's just something we just gonna have to get used to. Shopping for shirts for big titty bitches is, uh, it's a nigga-demic going on. It's a lot trying to shop for shirts and you got some big ass titties. You gotta look for the right material. Any shirts that I buy usually got some spandex, you feel me? I need some stretch, some cotton or something. <laughs> but I can't do no like polyester and that shit that don't stretch, it's not, it's a no for me dog. Shopping in general sucks for big titty bitches. When you trying to shop for a new winter coat and you got to fuck around and go up at least three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sizes and then your ass feel fat as fuck because your ass had to get an extra large just for your titties. And you don't even wear extra large. That shit, it be so depressing. Let me tell you something. All of my coats and jackets that I own are large and I wear a small. How the fuck do you think that make me feel? How the fuck do you think that make me feel? Fat as hell. That's how it make me feel. That's why a lot of times I don't even like shopping because anytime I go shopping, it just make me feel like I gotta lose some weight or something because even though I say my titties ain't even that big, there's a lot of shirts that are not compatible with my titties. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know how much more weight I need to lose to be able to fit into whatever type of shirt I want to, but <sighs> sad. It's very sad. Now this one right here is one of my pet peeves because I'm the type of person, I don't really like to show too much. You hear me? I'm, I leave all of that shit for my man. This is probably the most cleavage that I've ever had in my YouTube videos or whatever. But anytime, you know, I'm posting on Instagram or whatever, that's that's not my thing. I don't really like to show my assets on the gram, on the Snapchat. That's for me and that's for my nigga. But um, with that being said, anytime a big titty bitch is trying to take a picture and she real particular about having like a lot of cleavage or showing too much, you feel me? Um, Sometimes your titties just take the fuck over the whole picture. You take a cute ass picture and you look at it and all you see is titties. It's just like, bitch. It's, it's disrespectful. Like I said, big titties are insubordinate as fuck. You trying to take a cute ass picture and you don't want a bunch of titties in them, them bitches gonna pop up anyways. Really? My titties be getting me in trouble, okay? With my goddamn self. I don't like that shit. 
okay? I'm really big on keeping my personal assets to myself and my nigga, okay? <laughs> my titties is disrespectful as fuck. A lot of my pictures, I gotta crop my big ass titties out because they don't know how to calm the fuck down. They're attention whores. All they want is people to see them, but I'm like, bitch, hell no, nah, we, we ain't fighting out here in these Instagram streets, you hear me? You better cover the fuck up. But this is just for the purpose of the video, like I said. <laughs> That's one thing about big ass titties. When you have them, you don't notice them as much as other people do because you live with them shits every day. So you don't be, you know, trying to look at your cleavage, make sure you're not showing too much and all of that shit. Sometimes you just want to be chill. You feel me? Sometimes you don't want to have to worry about your big ass titties. Then you realize you always gonna have to worry about your big ass titties. Cause big, because big ass titties don't know how to sit the fuck down and stay in their goddamn place. I'm only mad because I took some cute ass pictures today and all you can see is titties. So now I can't post them on the gram unless I crop them out. I might have to crop them out. Which leads me to my next point. When people be like, put your titties up. And you was like, damn. I thought they were. The deception. That right there is just sad. Because I feel like your titties have went against you. It's like, I thought I was doing good today, bitch. And, and this is how you do me. I don't deserve that shit. I treat y'all well, okay? So when I put you up, bitch, stay the fuck up, bitch, okay? One of the worst parts about having big ass titties, especially if you got big ass natural titties, they never fall exactly how you want them to. They're either too far apart, too close together, one of them is bigger than the other, one of them sit up right, the other one kind of saggy. You know, you can never just have the perfect titties if they're natural, which sucks, but it's okay because there are ways around that. Get a good bra. You be all right. These bitches with these big ass, fake ass titties that look like they about to pop is lucky as fuck, okay? Because y'all just got the leeway to, to, to walk how you please, move how you please, wear shirts without bras how you please. What about us? The big titty natural bitches, huh? What the fuck about us? Let me tell you something. It's okay because I like my big ass natural ass titties. Okay? No matter what you do, them bitches still not gonna fall the way you want them to. Unless you have surgery. And ain't nobody about to do that shit. I'm broke as fuck. And that, my niggas, is just a few more reasons on why having some big ass titties sucks. Starting to get hot and my titties is starting to sweat. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by liking this video and going ahead and comment down below some more big titty problems that your girl forgot. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know and I'll be sure to do a part four. Four. <laughs> All y'all niggas, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you ain't did that already. All y'all can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sophie Tony and my Snapchat is Tony underscore 15. Until next time, y'all niggas stay black. If you not black, stay blessed. And I'll be seeing y'all in my next video. Bye. Damn, I love your sense of humor. You don't get caught up in rumors. You don't be talking about who fucking who. And I notice the way you maneuver. Sexy but never show too much. Ain't heard from you in like two months. All of a sudden you pop on my line. You can make time, stop on a dime. I think you mastered the art of sublime. Your type is harder to find. You can turn water to wine. Yeah, you can turn water to wine.